evil, darkness, light. There must be balance in the universe. Such is the decree of the Charred Council, an ancient body charged by the Creator to preserve the very fabric of existence. But the balance has been broken. Even now, Earth smolders in ruin, fallen to the demon lords, and the Destroyer carves a new kingdom amongst his mighty chosen. Some say the Horseman War triggered the apocalypse, that he rode to Earth unbidden and doomed all of mankind. But what of the other Horsemen, fearless enforcers of the Council's will? What of fury, strife, and death? To know those names, you must first know another. Nephilim, cursed union of angel and demon. The Nephilim had countless realms to preserve and burned them to ash. But four amongst them grew weary of the slaughter and feared their conquest would imperil the balance. And so a truce was made. The four would serve the council in exchange for unimaginable power. Thus were the dreaded horsemen formed. And the rider's first task was to purge their own brethren from creation, to annihilate the Nephilim and destroy their souls. Let us now cast our gaze to one amongst the four. Not war, who lies chained at the Council's feet, professing his innocence, but one who would save his brother above all else. He has many names. Kinslayer, Executioner, Death. Ah. To bargain for war's freedom, Death swore that he would resurrect humanity. will condemn war, strip him of power, let him rot in oblivion, to hide the truth. My secrets cannot prove his innocence, horsemen. No, but they can help me to erase the crime. Bring mankind back from extinction. Madness. If it's madness, then who better to show me the way? Should a way exist, you will find it here. The Tree of Life. Let me pass. 
Not yet. That which you gave me, you will take it back. In exchange for its secrets, you agreed to keep the amulet. No. The voices, they curse and threaten without end. They cry to return. You must destroy it! I cannot. You annihilated their flesh. Why do you guard their souls? Open the portal. You will not pass while I live. So be it. Your brethren are trapped in eternal torment. Do you wish to join them? And what of war? Would you kill your brother to save your precious balance? He is innocent. Are you so certain? Still, horsemen, who are wounded. Don't touch me. Your arrival here is a bad omen. Yes. Troubles me greatly. Old one, there's more trouble ahead if you don't start making sense. Where is the tree of life? Life? <laughs> this world is dying. Lad, choking on chaos and corruption. We can do little to stop it. Soon, the great tree too shall perish, and with it, the last of my people. Is that not what brought you here, Pale Rider? I seek the tree, for chaos and corruption don't concern me. You fight well, but this corruption can't be beaten with a blade. Seek out the Forge Sister. 
Ask her about the fire of the mountain. Help her, and she will help you reach the tree. As for me, I must return to my work. And who are you to command a rider? I am a maker, older than even the Charred Council. These hands have laid the foundations for many worlds. But that was long ago, and now they but hardly know the touch of stone. Are you not curious as to why I seek the tree? I would not presume to question one of the four, but yes, tell me. I must restore humanity, to redeem war. Heaven and hell battle upon the shattered earth. All creation trembles, and at the center of it all stands your brother. He is innocent. I never said he wasn't. The tree holds power over life and death. If you would resurrect humanity, then you are headed in the right direction. Be warned. A dark presence dwells now within the tree, and the path is barred by corruption. Maker's beard. The rumors are true. A horseman in the Forge Lands. The name's Alia, and that's my brother Valis. We are the keepers of this forge. Though I reckon that means less now than once it did. This is a Maker's Forge? Nay, the Maker's Forge is lost to us, silenced by the hands of corruption. But in its depths we once crafted the dark towers of hell and the cities of heaven. Now you make trinkets? <laughs> and you, one of the four, now seek the aid of the Makers? I guess we've all fallen from high places. Arcania seeking the tree, and your elder speaks of fire. What is it? Aye, the fire of the mountain, the Stonefather's blood. It once flowed into our forge, as did the tears. Both imbued our craft with incredible power. The heart and the soul of stone. But corruption has taken them, and now our forge is silent. Why does this concern me? The way to the tree is lost barred by corruption. You can no more leave this place than we. Restore our forge, and the tree can be reached. I don't follow your reasoning. We are makers, not warriors. But we are not without our weapons. Before the forge was lost, we crafted a mighty creature of soul and stone. A colossus to fight this corruption. But to awaken him requires a Maker's Key, and we need our forge to craft one. Will you help us? What is this cauldron? A temple built in the shadow of Stonefather's Peak. There the fire of the mountain was harnessed and passed into our forge. Ride east of town, ride through the charred pass and towards the cindery peak of the Stonefather. There you will find the cauldron. Man of no words, your brother. <laughs> but hardly silent. His voice is the ring of the hammer and the roar of the white flame. Yes, he works while you talk. I may have need of a blade. Is your need greater than ours, horseman? I think not. We fight for the survival of our realm and our kin. Prove worthy, and mayhaps we can do business. Hmm. The Reaper. It's about time you came. The Makers are dying, and our realm. We few are all that remain. A warrior's life is never easy, old one. Aye, not easy, but simple. I always saw my end with blade in hand, a field of enemy dead before me. And what glorious end awaits you hiding behind these gates? Uh, you cannot fight corruption, nor can you harm it. You can only kill those it has claimed. Every blow I strike against corruption is a blow against my own people. Muse on that, Ryder, before you mark me as a coward. Do what you must for your kin, old one. For mine, I ride to the cauldron. 
Horsemen? You'll find not that way, but trouble. Well, if you fancy your corruption waist deep, that's as good a place as any. You know, there's a reason this gate is here. And if you were a friend, I wouldn't have let you pass. But then, <laughs> who is friend to death? Have you wisdom to share, or was it long since knocked loose in battle? Oh, wisdom ain't like teeth. I've plenty left. Enough to stay clear of the cauldron. The ancients filled it with right nasty traps. But one so clever as yourself will surely elude them. <laughs> A rider has come to the realm. Mm, not another one. You're the Nephilim, the one they call Death. How did you get here? Took a wrong turn. It appears I'm stranded here with the rest of you. If you seek the cauldron, you should know that it fell to corruption fair long ago. I can still feel the fire itself rumbling deep in the earth. I'll take my chances. No different than the others. Less pleasant on the eyes, for one. <laughs> I could say no less for you. Folks around town call me Pop or Lad, but I prefer my own name. Carl. Pop it is, then. As you will. Matters not to me. Why not restore the fire yourself? I came here just for that purpose. Figured I'd pop the cork, so to speak. Be the hero. But the cauldron is locked up well and tight, and the way through is swallowed by fire. You look capable enough. Perhaps you can find a way. I'll wait here and guard the entrance. The mountain has a voice. How did you... No, no, doesn't matter. You have done what we... what I... failed to do. You must take the good news to Alia as soon as you can. <laughs> Horseman! The fire of the mountain flows again. Yes, freed by my hand. And Karn. Karn? That pup? Well, he hasn't a clue. And yet, the forge burns once more. You know what awaits you, Ryder. To finish this, you must restore the tears. I'm not your errand boy, Maker. Aye, but our fates are now yoked. Help us, and we will help you. In the meantime, take this. It might be of use. I know this best. It belongs to my brother, Strife. How came it here? I cannot see, but there are other goods you may barter for now as well. Restore the tears, then return to me. You said there were two things that powered your ford, fire and tears. Yes, fire to wake the earth and tears to calm it. Both gifts of the Stone Father. And fire will not be enough. Nay, we require both. Where might I find the tears of the mountain? To the west, past the fjord and into the drench fort. You will find the tears within. We tried to seal in the corruption, but no good came of it. What can you tell me about the tears of the mountain? The drench fort lies just beyond this barrier. It was the first thing taken by corruption. We sealed the Stone Father's tears inside. Fearing what would happen if they spread. If I do as Alia asks, you'll soon find out. Aye, and the realm will be better for it. Whether pure as rain or black as sin, the tears will end this stalemate. It's odd how I often find you standing. Without the Tree of Life Horsemen, I'm trapped here just like you. A fortunate few slipped out before the tree was lost, like Ulthain. And who is Ulthane? He's just another maker. Has a big hammer is all. When he escaped, I feared to follow. And a good thing, too. And why is that? 
Well, you might still be looking for the Calder if not for my courage and wit. Finished then, at long last. Death, this is a maker's key, and you had best take it now, before I come to my senses. <laughs> you seem more likely to lose them, old one. A problem, why? But there is also a solution. The Guardian, meant to be our greatest weapon, and capable of clearing the forest around the tree. But an earthquake drove us from the foundry, and now I fear something else roams within. The Guardian was never finished. If the Guardian is your masterwork, how am I to complete him? In the forest lies another construct, one of the few remaining who have not fallen to corruption. He is not as vast as the Guardian, but his heart is strong. Seek him out and he will guide you to the Foundry. There, you may activate the Guardian using the Maker's Key. The Constructs are awakened by a key? Aye. Constructs do not have a soul like you or I. Not until that soul is given. This key unlocks the stone and prepares it for the ebb and flow of a Maker's life force. In fact, it will bring to life most any construct you find in the realm. <laughs> and what makes you think I have a soul, or what? Isn't that what troubles you? How will I know when I've found this construct? Constructs are beings of boulder and stone, animated by a Maker's life force. Most possess but a fraction of a soul, just enough to drive them and give them purpose. But through others course the whole of a Maker's being, his memories and emotions, a story half remembered. Life weighs heavy on us all. Not even stone can bear it. If wardens can resist corruption, why not use them to cleanse your realm? Sadly, the Wardens were called when the seals were broken. The Maker's toll to be paid at the end war. This Warden is all that remains. Hmm. Then the seals were broken. What will you tell me about this place? I've been here but the once. The time I tried to tip a construct. A fine sport. Aye, it is. I could but nudge him an inch before my nerves gave out. The whole time I felt moodier watching. say that you can reach the Foundry, and that a Guardian lies within. The Foundry, yes. It is where I was cast. But it was lost. And now, you will need my help. Corruption spreads across your realm, and you slumber. Stone is heavy. It is easier to rest. 
In my dreams, I can move again. In my dreams, I am flesh. This place, what was it? I cannot tell you. It's on the tip of my tongue. My tongue seems to be elsewhere. Will you help me, old one? Yes. Shall we? Hold on, little one. and brought life to stone. But am I any closer to the tree? Tell me now, old one, or you may never get the chance. I hear the foundry is dangerous. As is the tree, horseman, and the entire forest. That is why you must awaken the Guardian. But have you asked yourself why you seek the tree? The tree of life is where I will find my brother's absolution. The Tree of Life is a gateway. From it, one may travel to places undreamed of. Whether a world of oceans and forests, or ice, or endless night, the tree exists there. It may appear different, yet it is the same tree and its roots connect all the realms. The Tree of Life is not where journeys end but where they begin. So the time has come. Tell me about the foundry. It is a holy site where soul is fused with stone. Doesn't look so holy from here. The darkness has spurred little in our realm. But the Foundry is a place of magic. It is strong. And with your help, we will claim it once more. What became of the other Wardens? In my dreams, I felt many of my brothers. But only one still calls. It's not safe to go alone. You need my help. That's the Guardian Rider. And if you would get to the tree, we will have to wake that beast. And then what? The 
Guardian will do what it was meant to. Destroy the corruption blocking the tree. But it looks finished. Why does it just stand there? The body is finished, aye. But as it stands, it is no more than dead stone. To give life to the stone, we must give it the essence of a maker's heart. Three of them for a beast this large. And how do we do that? These heart stones were finished along with the Guardian, but never married to the stone. They're all in the temple. We need only look to find them. Then let's go. There we go.
choice but to destroy him also. Yet if the path to the Tree of Life is to be cleared, I have no choice but to bring him back. How many times would you have me kill him? The Guardian will be as a newborn, free of corruption. Now, stand aside. This will take more than a small effort. survive this resurrection, nor do they deserve it. That is not ours to judge. I do this to spare war from the Council's punishment. And what of the Nephilim? Would you save but one and not the rest? The Nephilim are a threat to the balance. If we had taken Eden, none of this would have happened. Yet you rode against us. Slaughtered our flesh, then bound our souls in your amulet! Who are you? I think you know. Once, you called me brother. Absalom. I have forsaken that name. Now, I am corruption. The day you raised your scythe against us, I was born. And soon, I will be all. The Tree of Life has fallen to my darkness, from withered root to fruitless limb, and even Death himself will not escape it! What defines a soul? Some call it the spark within that fights the darkness, that burns for life itself. 
But what of death? Who became the Reaper on the day he slaughtered the Nephilim? He killed his brother, his comrades, and Absalom. Death! Why do you slay your own? The Nephilim have no claim to Eden. There are realms for angels and demons. Why not for us? Eden belongs to man. It belongs to those who take it! The Eons have not answered the question. Was it worth it? Brother... That one moment... Begot corruption... And crowned him Kinslayer. Isn't it odd that so many have come here by your hand? <sighs> and yet you so rarely visit the dead kingdom. I had no plan to visit this wretched place. I sought the tree of life. I found it. Now I'm here. <laughs> the tree is no destination, my friend. Only a portal to other worlds. If the tree is what you seek, then you have arrived. That I have been betrayed. Hmm. Not so hasty. The tree is wise beyond imagining. If it brought you here, then here is where you belong. Perhaps I can help. Hmm. I doubt it. You would be wise to heed me. I have a merchant's skill to grant your deepest desire. Tell me, Ryder, what do you seek? Hmm? I would redeem my brother, restore the balance. Hmm. Yes, I have heard the tale. Your brother rolled though no call was given. And mankind paid the price. Guard your tongue, merchant. I give no judgment, friend. Only pass on that which I have been told. You were right to seek the tree, but it is only the gateway. What you seek is the Well of Souls. The Well of Souls can restore humanity. And more! The well channels the dead into this kingdom from every world, above and below. It is also how souls are brought back into creation when they are ready to be reborn. You still haven't said what you are. The history of my people was burned to ash along with our world. Forgotten even by those who... <laughs> destroyed them. Now, only the smoke remains. We were not the first, nor will we be the last. This is the way of things. The way of things is balance. And what balances life? Nothingness. <laughs> or oh, corruption. Eventually, it consumes us all. So it would seem. None of this explains what you're doing here. I am merely a humble merchant with a taste for the finer things. In life and in death. I am Hostagoth, and it would amuse me to offer you my will. <laughs> 
Lodge. Tree of life, tree of death, portals to other worlds. I know none of this. How is it I have remained so blind, or does your tongue only spit lies? Much was kept from the Nephilim, and from the Fall. Why? Because power must be tempered with ignorance. If the Nephilim knew the true nature of the tree, all would have perished. I forsook the Nephilim, became a warrior for the balance, even killed my own people. I protect these worlds, you and the tree, yet still I remain in the dark. Forsaken, yes. Forgotten, no. The Nephilim live on in you. Hmm. But what do I know? I am but a simple merchant. Hmm. What if I wish to return to the Forge Lands? The Tree of Life has many portals, Ryder. Some may help you retrace your path. Many portals are closed, but the ones to the Forge Lands remains open. Pretend that I believe you. Where should my search begin? You must scale the Serpent's Peak and summon the Eternal Throne. There, the Lord of Bones slumbers. He will guide you to the well, or he will have your soul. Before you go, horseman, consider this. My people may be lost, but their relics yet remain. You may come across them in your travels. They are worthless to most, but valuable to me. Return them and I will trade Relic for coin. Chancellor sent you. Well, horseman. I've beaten death once, and I can do it again. I've no idea what you're talking about. Of course not. You still reek of hope. You couldn't have met the Chancellor. The Chancellor doesn't sound like much. Ages. His tongue has dripped venom into the dead king's ears. Your 
but sits upon the eternal throne, demanding service. Who are you? I am the Master of Blades, and all that remains of a warrior once called Draven, the Kingdom of Man. Also have passed through the world of souls long ago. But I won my freedom in the arena, only to fall beneath the dead king's whip. No one disturbs the Lord of Bones without save his chancellor. A rider in the kingdom of the dead? No, no, this will never do. I must speak with the Lord of Bones. <laughs> oh, that is not possible. My Lord attends his realm. A burden beyond even your ken, horseman. And what is your use as a doorstop? There is but one way to draw him from his slumber. The Gilded Arena. Here, mortals are offered a last chance to earn freedom from the grave. A boon that includes an audience with the king. Defeat the arena's champion and return here with its skull. His majesty will grant you an audience. And where is this arena? Arrived. Let me speak to the Lord of Bones, and I will spare your champion. And perhaps you as well, Chancellor. <laughs> you cannot slay that which is already dead. But you're welcome to try. In the arena. Forget what I said about sparing you, doorkeeper. Tell me about the King of the Dead. His reign is eternal. His word is law. And his time is invaluable. I ensure that he need only speak with those who are worthy. Then you must rarely see him, Chancellor. Oh, no. You said you fought in the arena. Did you battle its champion? Yes. And if you mean to tangle with that brute, you must be mad. I seek an audience with the King of the Dead. <laughs> As I thought, mad. Nashor will tear you to shreds. You survived the arena. Well, parts of you did. Since I faced him long ago, Nashor has grown in power, fed on the rage and flesh of those who fought before him. I fought for life. To return and lead a great army that would conquer all. But here, I serve. I, Draven, who never bowed to any man. That the dead king is something less, is no comfort. Defeat your champion. And so all challengers boast. But most leave in torment. Their souls burn from existence. And our champion of all the stronger for it. Enough! Bring 
Bring out your champion! There is power in this one. Power enough to do as he can. But our champion is no cur to be summoned at will. You must draw him forth. This altar holds his power. The souls of all he has slain and consumed. Three animal stones must be placed therein. And our champion will So hoping you will not return. <sighs> what of the arena's champion then? He won't be entertaining you any longer. No. Impossible. I believe your king will see me now. I cannot deny you. Why don't you take them? <laughs> On this path, you do not serve the balance. And for that, 
You are denied your rightful power. Until you have it. You are beneath me. You'll forgive me, Lord, if I don't bow. Why did your lords leave the Eternal Throne? They seek what they cannot have. Something beyond both death and life. Oblivion. The cowards claimed it was already spreading, eating at the fringes of our realm. After I punished them, they fled to their pathetic strongholds. What you speak of is corruption. Name it what you will. It is not a threat to the Lords of the Dead. We have judged the Fallen since the beginning of time. There is no power that can undo that. serve him even now, though he would reward my efforts with eternal torment. You did leave the eternal throne. Even here there are souls lost, waiting to be judged and sent into the city of the dead. I have heard three such spirits wandering the corridors. Find them and bring them back to me. Once I have cleansed them of their past, I will hear what troubles the Lord of Bones. Why hear the pleas of the dead? Before a soul can enter the city of the dead, its secrets must be laid bare and its life judged. It is a matter of mercy. The souls will wander, lost and blind, until then. Judgment is at hand. Humans, always so frightened. See your life as you truly live. It is finished. Your Lord summons you. Ever his servant. You forget your station, Nephilim. You may be a horseman, but I am a lord of the dead. And your king demands an audience. This realm belongs to corruption now. None alive can stand against it. You misjudge me. You ride without the power of the seals at your back. You would not survive even the weakest trial of the realm. I brought low the arena's champion. <laughs> that is but a game, Pale Rider. There are other trials meant to punish. Speak with the voice in the Gilded Arena. Ask of the Psychomeron. If you live, we will speak again. What is it you seek this time? I seek the Psychomeron. If such a thing were possible, it would surely throw out to your very soul. I have a few to spare. <laughs> Indeed. 
I wonder. Are they too old to burn after so many years? Why do you not find it? I hope the champion would arise who could face the corruption. And you have come far, horseman. A pity that your journey ends here. from the Lord of Bones. I suppose your king lives up to his name, if not his bargains. The dead king has granted you passage to the city of the dead. Who must I seek in the city of the dead? You should worry more about the one who seeks you. Answer my question, Scarecrow. <laughs> There's no fun in simply telling you. Then speak no more. I'd keep watch on my own neck if I were you. What will I find in the City of the Dead? Besides more corpses. Something far more precious than sinew and bone. Souls, Rider. From every kingdom under a dying sun. In the city, their past life is cleansed, that they may pass through the well and be reborn. Many souls do not survive this purification. Some are driven mad, and a few even manage to escape their bonds.
And where else would I be but the city of the dead? Would you like to ask a question? Or just stand there like you've seen a ghost? Tell me how to reach the Well of Souls. The Well of Souls is a place of unimaginable power. The key to life and death of creation itself. And that is why the well has a key of its own. One that was divided long ago. The angels keep one half, and the demons the other. And never shall the two meet. Unless you truly mean to save your brother. To save war, I would storm the White City. Of that, I am more than certain. But there is no need. The angels have realms beyond the White City, as the demons do beyond their dark kingdom. All will become clear to you once you reach the tree. I've already done that, Crowfather. Nevertheless, you must find the tree again. And go wherever it takes you. Absalom lives. Yes, Absalom lives on. His rage and agony spread as corruption, and he will unmake all of creation to destroy the balance. I killed Absalom once, Crowfather. If I could go back, I would see him spared. I doubt he would grant you the same courtesy. How can I restore humanity? The Well of Souls is where all life begins where the souls of the dead are born into their new lives. I killed the beast that haunted this place. I freed the souls of humanity. And in other times, that would be enough. But something draws power from the well, leaving only void where there once was life. I fear you have only released the souls into further torment. Then there is no hope. Humanity is lost. Not so. Even now, you carry with you the power to restore the well. The Nephilim? If you sacrifice their souls? Yes. They alone have the power to undo what was done. So I must sacrifice the Nephilim, my kin, to restore mankind. The Nephilim are dead by your own hand. That broken talisman is all that remains. Would you leave them to eternal torment in that cage upon your chest? Not so fast, horseman. You're following me. So I am. I will remain here at the tree, should you have need of me on your quest. <laughs> And dust has a beak for more than corpses, horsemen. Follow him, and you will find the key. Follow dust, find the key? Can't be that easy, cruel father. You may be right, Death. The future is a secret even I cannot keep. I don't recognize this place. Where have you taken me? This place is called Lost Light. It is an outpost, far beyond the gates of heaven. And it is here that the angels have hidden the key to the Well of Souls. Why here? Why not the White City? There are some amongst the angels who would use the key for their own purpose. So it was hidden here to safeguard it from their schemes. Or so they hoped. The well has power over all life. It does. Though I suspect there is more to your question. Go on, Ryder. Ask it. The four never knew of the well. Why was it kept from us? For fear of what you may have done with that knowledge. The Nephilim could not be allowed to ravage creation any longer. They needed to stay dead and the well can bring them back. And so we get to the root of it. Yes, the well is the font of all life. 
angel, demon, mankind, even Nephilim. But from their blades they wrought chaos, and from that was born corruption. You were right to destroy them. Beside you, the gates of Eden would have died were it not for your blades. But I'm not troubled that you don't recall me. Your thoughts that day were on killing Nephilim. You're of the Hell God. I was. But I guard the light now. And the Archon. You'll find both in the Crystal Spire. But something tells me you are not here to glory in my master's radiance. What gave that away? How did you come to leave the Hellcard? Abaddon sent me here to watch over the Crystal Spire and the Archon. There is much at stake should the Spire fall. What is this place? An outpost. We call it Lost Light for what we left behind in the White City. Here. We are closer to darkness. I'm looking for a key. I would guess that what you seek is no simple key. For that, you should consult the Archon. He sees much from the peak of his spire. And who is this Archon? Lucian is the head of the Scriptorium. Those angels record all that he sees when he peers into the shadow. The Ivory Citadel holds their records, an archive vast beyond thinking. Where is this Citadel? Lost beyond the mists. Pray your business never sends you there. The Archon's that way, Horseman. Perhaps I have other business. If that business takes you to the Kingdom of the Dead, you would serve the Light to deliver this scroll. What business have you in that land of corpses? I seek an old friend. A lost soul. Where better to look? Take that scroll to the undead court. That they may answer my question. I see you, Horseman. The things you have done. The lives you have ended. I know why you are here. Then you will give me the key. I have guarded the key for centuries. It is mine, and I will not part with it lightly. Not now. Corruption spreads. In our city. In our hearts. Only I remain pure, a beacon against the darkness, helpless to push it back. We are not all helpless, Archon. Uh, perhaps not. After the seals were broken and Hell's legions loosed upon the Earth, many divine relics were lost. One, the Rod of Arafel, could help reverse what has happened here. I dare not retrieve the Rod myself. The gates to the White City are closed to any angel who visits Earth. But you... are no angel. Acquire the Rot, and I will clear a path into my citadel. There you will find the key to the Tree of Life. As for what you will find on Earth, after you face it, 
Even you may curse the name of war. The pool will bring you to Earth, Rider. Do not tarry here. If you want the rod, you will tell me where to find it. I have seen much while staring into the deep, but that I cannot tell you. The Kingdom of Man was swallowed by darkness when the armies of Hell invaded. I have seen only glimpses of the Earth since then. But enough to know that the Rod of Arafel is safe, and our only hope of redemption. How does the City of Light fall to corruption? It wasn't the city that fell, but those within. It began with just one angel. Weak of will, given to doubts. When the darkness called, he welcomed it in. From him, the corruption spread. It seemed only I could sense it, gathering above our heads. And though I warned my brothers of the storm that was to come, they did not listen. Only when the cloud burst did the City of Light fall. And other realms have fallen since. Your pool, is it the only way to the Kingdom of Man? It is the only path that I know of. You can thank your masters for that. To preserve the balance, the Chard Council forbade all travel to the Third Kingdom and destroyed those means that already existed. Even the Tree of Life was burnt, like so much kindling. Yet you have the means to travel to Earth. Not everyone obeys the Council death. That is why they have their horsemen. You speak of this realm as if it were your own. The guards call this place Lost Light, but it is here that the light is to be found, and I am its source. There's nothing else you can tell me? Not until you find the Rod Horseman. Then all will be revealed. for what your brother did here. But you saved my life. Consider us even. What do you know about the Rod of Arafel? A weapon of immense power, brought to Earth by the Archon Hestus to battle the demons in the End War. But Hestus fell, and the Rod was shattered. Now the Destroyer uses its pieces to fuel his army of darkness. What is broken can be reformed. Where are the pieces of the Rod? In the hands of the Destroyer. He has summoned creatures from the Abyss and drawn forth his chosen. Things of blasphemy, who even now divide this world into their own hellish domains. The Suffering are one such beast. They feed upon the dead of this world, 
and twist them into a swarm of flesh and bone that fight as one mind. As they who attacked us moments ago. One mind, easily sundered. I will not risk more Hellguard to recapture the Rod of Arafel. But, should you wish to undertake this fool's errand, and follow the trail of corpses left by my brethren. A fool's errand? Well, it would not be my first. So that it is not your last, take this. Oh, thanks for the warning. These chosen. They don't look like demons. No, they have something far more ancient, drawn from the heart of the Abyss. The most powerful serve the Destroyer, and rule in his name over ash and bone. The rest kill everything around them. It is a wonder you've lasted this long. Even the dead march against you. You speak of the Swarm. Of all the creatures that roam the wastes, they most hunger for revenge. Not even death can stop them. Why are the Hell Gods still on Earth? You lost your own, in case you haven't noticed. Where else would we go? All of creation saw what happened here. How the Hell God marched before the seals were broken. The White City is closed to us. We can never go home. How many angels died here, Yoru? Too many. But for every dead angel, there is another, kept alive against his will. This suffering empowers the Destroyer. Perhaps you could release them from their torment, Pale Rider. If you wish. However, all I can offer the captives is a swift end. That is blessing enough. I have found a piece of the rod. Be wary. There are things that lurk beyond these barricades that the Hellguard dare not face head on. And the remaining rod pieces, do they lie past the barricades? Yes. Pass through the city, and you will find the next piece beneath the earth, in an old abandoned tunnel. Where will I find the final fragment? I do not know. But the rod has a will of its own. Find the second piece, and it may tell me where the last resides. You have found the second piece. I can feel its power within you. The rod wills itself whole. You may be deaf to its cries, but I am not. The final piece lies beyond this barrier, in an area heavily fortified by the shadow. Destroyer will not be pleased when I restore the Rod of Arafel. The warriors may pay the price. The White City is lost to us. This broken world will soon be our grave. And yet we must fight on against the darkness, to uphold the light. If your actions hasten our end, so be it. May you live to see the Destroyer take his last breath. Your ill of the Helga. Good luck, Ryder. The final piece is the beginning of the The Rod of Arafel has been made whole. I am tempted to ask that you wield that weapon and turn the tide of this war. But I fear the Destroyer would capture it again and turn it to his dark purpose. No, better that you remove it from this world and into the safe keeping of the White Army. We will make our stand here, until the Hellguard is no more. I would stand with you, Yoriel. My brother's fate takes me on another path. You have proven yourself honorable, a virtue little known with your kind. But if I ever see him, war must answer for his crimes. He could not have brought this upon the Earth. And I will see my brother spared. Do what you will, Ryder. But this world is lost, and that cannot be undone. And what of the Hellguard, Yuru? The blade down eventually. That's what I'm counting on. The demons will suffer all the more when we force the blade home. Be careful what you wish for, Archon. You just might 
get it. The Rod of Arafa. I have been waiting for so long. It feels every bit as powerful as I imagined. Then you should have no problem clearing a path into your city. A path? No. I will clear the entire realm. I will burn away the shadows with holy light. to reach the citadel. You will need wings. destroy the key. Surely you understand, Horseman. I did what I had to do. Open the well. <laughs> Protected the key. From the questions they asked. And from you.
I have the angel key. Then your task nears its end. I can open the way, Death. But you must find the other key. The demon key? Yes. Tread lightly. There is not that way but shadow. Welcome to Shadow's Edge, horsemen. Now, go as the crow flies, or your brother is lost. This place looks familiar. As well it should. This is the dark reflection of the Crystal Spire, a realm where demons rather than angels keep watch. But corruption turned their gaze inward. And what they saw there destroyed them. What of the key? It remains within, bound by a powerful master. Welcome to the Dark Kingdom, horsemen, if you're following me. <laughs> Nothing of the sort. I've come to part demons from their coins, and you from their souls. Are we so different? I'm looking for a key, but of course. Samael keeps many wonders in the vaults beneath the black stone. I have come to trade for what few he would part with. But I fear not all this realm in the Red Court. Samael would never let his realm slide so far into nothingness. Beware of what you find on Samael's throne. And whom? Rumors are all that escape the vortex of a mad queen Lilith who still clings to rule. Lilith? Why am I not surprised? Samael was there when I fought the Nephilim. No doubt watching with great interest. The demon Samael plays a game of his own devising. And we are. Pawns. I've heard of this place. The Blackstone. Yes, the throne of Samael, the Blood Prince, the Red Wanderer. He has many names, yet one home. Not much left. <sighs> Corruption devours the Blackstone, as it has countless worlds. As it will the Forge Lands, the Undead Plains, even Earth. That is corruption. What does it seek? The end of existence itself. And in its place, nothingness. And how do we fight that? We don't. Your precious balance only serves to stay its hand. But what do I know? I am but a simple merchant. Create Absalom from the mingled dust of angel and demon. And from that first Nephilim were not the rest formed. They were brothers to the horsemen. 
Yet when the riders slaughtered the Nephilim, only you showed remorse. Why did you not cast the amulet into the abyss? As the Council ordered, why spare their souls? If not to one day undo your sin. My sin? This corruption was born in Absalom. It rises from him like a black tide, and you, Mother, must help me stop it. Where is the demon key? In Samael's keeping. But he is gone now, and the key has vanished. Oh, don't worry. Can return to the past, to Samael's stronghold before his fall, and find the Demon King. I only ask that when you reach the Well of Souls, you will answer your heart and resurrect the Nephilim. Then at last you may enter the Well of Souls. But once undertaken, there is no returning on this path. I've come this far, Crowfather. I'm not turning back. Then be warned, Rider of Death. A dark presence guards the well, and the seeds of corruption writhe within. The well is corrupted. Yes. 
but not the nameless kind you have faced thus far. Now, corruption has chosen a champion, a voice to sound its clarion call. Then I will see this finished, here and now. Remember what you have learned, Ryder. Corruption is the end of all things. Even death. Tree, the keys, the well. Why do I get the sense you are testing me? You test yourself, old friend. For what you've done. For what you had to do. And now you face the ultimate test. Will you bring death? Or give life? the power of the well to return the kingdom of man, or 
You may resurrect the Nephilim, but know that choosing one will forever doom the other. Oh. My brother War. I would protect him above all. To return man to the earth will require a sacrifice. White City for certain, the Council, and there will be others. You would wage this war alone? No. Not alone. War had broken the Seventh Seal, summoning the Horsemen of the Apocalypse. And the number of the Riders shall ever be four.